as evidence of my lack of kitchen investment. One of the things that's notable to point out in this particular house of mine is the sink. Now, the sink has never worked. The entire time we've lived in this house, the sink has never worked the way it's supposed to. When we moved in, the sprayer handle has a crack in it, and so when you turn on the sink, what you get is this. The sprayer handle has a crack in it, and so water comes out of the sprayer handle, and then it pulses, and water comes out the faucet at the same time. It's terrible. But it's been terrible the entire time. I initially tried to fix it. I put a piece of tape around the sprayer handle, and I was like, okay, this will work. And what would happen, of course, is that the tape would last for about a day and a half, and then it would get wet because, of course, water comes out the sprayer handle, and tape and water don't really mix. Over time, of course, this has gotten worse. When we moved in, it was much less of this constant thing, and it was much more of a, like, a slow, you know, jutting thing or whatever. It was not quite as bad as it used to be, but of course this is broken, it always has been broken, and it's just gotten worse over time. However, now it's even worse than it used to be. Now, this is difficult to see, but what you may notice, if you look carefully, is that in addition to the sprayer, which again, so sometimes this is how it goes, you just get a small, slow stream of water, unless, of course, you hit it, in which case it actually comes out. But what you'll notice here is actually that there is a small hole in the top of the faucet out of which water shoots into the air, and so now there's a fine mist of water all over. And the reason, of course, that you have to slap it is because that small hole allows water to flow back into the faucet, forcing it down, which is why water doesn't get in there. So if you cover it briefly and smack it, water actually comes out. Now, if you're not using the sink for cooking, this isn't a huge deal because the sprayer still works. You can use the sprayer normally. You turn the sink on and then you squeeze the sprayer handle like you can spray things like that's fine. But the problem is that if what you want to do is wash your hands. If what you want to do is wash off potatoes. Washing off potatoes is the kind of thing that needs two hands. And you can't hold a sprayer and spray with water in one hand and wash a potato in the other hand. That's not going to work. So this is just one of those things where, for the most part, if I'm filling the cat dish, or even if I'm like trying to soak some pans or anything else like that before I toss them in the dishwasher, this is fine. Like, it works, it gets water out, it's not that big of a deal. Until it started spraying water at the top, but that's a recent thing. Um, but if you actually want to use the sink as a sink as part of cooking, it's a huge pain in the ass. So I always have to go into the bathroom to wash my hands. And of course, when you're cooking, you want to be doing that constantly as you're handling meat and not handling meat. And it's a huge pain in the butt. So this is just one of those things that because I've never integrated cooking into my life, it hasn't been a major issue for me. Like it hasn't been something that I've been worried about. But now that I am going to be cooking regularly, because that's my New Year's resolution, to integrate cooking into my daily life, I need to do better. So now, now, the plan is that tomorrow morning, someone will arrive and they will fix the sink. We'll see how that works. But that's the idea, that by tomorrow evening, when I cook my first Blue Apron meal, I will have a fixed sink. We'll see how it goes.